Hi everyone, this video is for those who want to understand the concept of dodge and burn in depth. Let's begin! Before we begin using dodge and burn in practice, we must understand the theory of this sophisticated tool. Don't jump to the next tutorial if you want to master dodge and burn. So what's dodge and burn? In simple terms, to dodge is to lighten an area of an image and to burn means to darken an area of an image. For you, I prepared two equal in size squares. One is white and one is black. What happens if inside the white square I will put the black square and inside of black I will put white. They are also absolutely equal in size. But to our eye, the white square which is surrounded by the black border looks much more voluminous and larger. Always remember to apply this theory in your work. For example, the portrait work. In portraits, the attention of the viewer has to be drawn to the person's face and especially eyes. So imagine that this is your person. Yeah? And this is also your person. So where do you look first? Of course, you will look first on the black square with the white dot. And that's what you have to keep in mind. Your background always has to be slightly more underexposed. And the object's face has to be highlighted. If you do the opposite way, then the viewer's eye will go to the background, not to the person's face. So how can we use the dodge and burn technique? First, we can improve the overall exposure, bring back the shadows or highlight area of the image. It also helps to direct the viewer's attention to the subject, as I've shown you on the example with the squares. It helps to increase contrast without affecting the entire image. Let me now show you how we can change this round into sphere. So let's pick a basic dodge and burn tools. Here they are. This is for dodging and this is for burning. So dodge will help us to lighten parts of the circle and burn tool will help us to darken. The range, the size of your brush, will help us to target the area and exposure will help us to apply the needed depth of highlights or shadows. So this is the quick example how we can use dodge and burn. You see we have created a sphere out of simple circle. You can practice that at home before you start working on your portraits. At times when we work with dodge and burn too, color shift happens. We have to go for that to layer, new, layer. We have to change the mode from normal to soft light. And don't forget to check Fill with soft light natural color 50% gray. Hit OK and this is your gray layer on which you are going to start your work. So the color shift won't happen that much as if you work on the background copy. There are in general three most popular ways to work with dodge and worm. And first of them is to work directly on a gray layer with classic tools dodge and burn. Another way to work with dodge and burn tool is the brush, a simple brush tool. We will use these two primary colors, white and black, white for dodging and black we will use for burning. All we need to do is to switch them by pressing the shortcut key X. So now for example we want to dodge something 
and uh, my foreground color will be white. If I need to burn something, I will press X and shift it to black. Let me now delete the gray layer so it doesn't confuse you when I'm going to show a third very popular method to work with dodge and burn and that is with the help of curves layer. Let's create two curves layers. I'll deactivate one. So this is going to be for dodging. This is going to be for burning. Or way opposite. For the dodge, we are going to pull our curves up. Exposure up. Now we have to fill the layer mask with the black color to conceal or simply to hide our changes. And for that, our background color of primary colors has to be black. Don't forget to switch it. Press Command or Control Delete. Now your changes have been hidden. Yeah. And same we will do with the burn tool. Let's activate the layer. Now pull the curves down, underexpose it. Again, fill the layer with color black, command or control, and delete. So now we can start working on the dodge tool with simple eraser. Let's keep our opacity 100 and flow about 4 to 8, no more than that, let's keep it 6. So and whenever we need to, for example, dodge, yeah, oh, if nothing happens, means you forgot to switch the primary colors again, yes, and now you can see the changes. Yeah? Let me, for the sake of demonstration, to create, to increase the flow, so now you can see, and burning yeah in case if you feel you've done too much <laughs> obviously <laughs> like in my case so all you have to do is to switch the colors again and everything will be erased go down to the dodge layer and do the same over here So this is it. Uh, these are three most popular ways to work with dodge and burn. Whatever method you will be using is up to your personal choice, but I prefer to work on gray layer directly with classic tools dodge and burn. It means the first method which I've shown in the video, but this is again uh, fits me better and you can choose your own way. In my next video tutorial I'm going to show you how I'm working on dodge and burn. Yeah, We will edit one image together, one portrait together and at the end also I'm going to show you how to fix the color shift if such problem appears. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I will see you in the part two.